Hi, I'm Randy with Lancaster Archery Supply, here to give you a detailed product review of the BC Easy Draw Bow Tuner. BC stands for Bobby Chester of Knoxville, Tennessee. He's a senior pro shooter. He's been in this industry a really long time. He saw an opportunity to make something that works really well. Um, this is a, an accessory that mounts onto the Last Chance Easy Press. Mounts on any model of the Easy Press. This happens to be the ultimate Easy Press. Um, as you can see, this Matthews Chillex I have already in the press. I just made a few adjustments to the timing. I want to get a feel for whether or not I actually have this on at this point. So I'm going to hook it in here. And this uh, bow tuner actually works similar to the draw boards that have been around for a really long time. But this model particularly is really unique because it's micro adjustable with the crank of the Easy Press. The reason I put an arrow in this is because when I actually hook this up, um, I'm not worried that it's going to go off. This has a very strong stainless steel carabiner on here designed for holding a lot of weight. Um, the winch has more than enough capacity to hold any bow. Um, the reason being is when you're cranking it slow as, a as opposed to actually drawing the bow, this can tend to pinch your loop together. We want to keep that with a little bit of space in between so that when you're drawing, it's not actually affecting your knock travel and the, uh, you know, your actual arrow flight. So I'm going to, once I get just a little bit of tension on there, I'm going to flip this safety switch. There's a switch here that's going to make this click. Now, although the noise isn't what we prefer, I'm going to click that into place only because it's going to stop it and make sure that there's not going to be any issue in case it would accidentally let go of the handle or something like that. So I'm actually going to crank this back almost a full draw. I'm going to stop about a quarter inch short of when the actual modules are going to stop against the cam. So you have it right there, I have them just short. As of right now, I can see that the, uh, the actual draw stop on the module is roughly about an eighth of an inch away from the cable where it's going to hit to stop and give you that solid wall. On the bottom, I'm seeing it looks very, very close to the same. Uh, we want to make sure that they're identical when they actually hit that cable. So, because these clicks are fairly rough and there's a, there's a wider gap in that, I can easily use the crank here just micro adjust that right in where I know exactly where that hits. I'm going to stop just short of that. Check one more time. At this point, it's just shy of touching, like a 32nd of an inch. So I'm going to check the bottom one more time. And we're right there as well. I'm going to give it just a little bit more just to make sure that both hit identical. So, while I'm at full draw here, I'm going to inspect it. one other thing. I'm going to check for cam lean. I'm going to stand behind and just get an idea how that string is tracking out of the cam and whether or not the cam might be one way or the other. It's really easy to see at this point when you're at full draw. You know, you can look at cam lean all you want when the bow's at rest, but you don't shoot the bow at rest. You're shooting the bow at full draw. So we want to get an idea of what everything looks like lined up you'll be able to tell if there's any kind of torque in your riser, any flex, anything like that. So in this case, cams all look very good in line. Now, since this one has a drop away specifically, I want to see how the timing is of this Hamsky drop away. So I'm actually going to be able to crank this down. So and this is again where you want to make sure that you have a really good hand hold on the handle. Um, you know, once again, if this would happen to slip, it's not going to let the arrow fly or anything. But it's just this handle comes comes around very fast. So it'd be important to make sure you're holding on to this. In this case, I'm letting it down slow. But I want to see when this rest starts to drop. Right there, it's starting to drop which is great because out of an aggressive bow like this, we need to make sure that gets out of the way but still supports the arrow on the way out. So that's pretty much exactly where I want, where it's, it's hitting full draw roughly about three inches or so before this hits full draw. For more information about the BC Easy Draw Bow Tuner by Bobby Chester, visit LancasterArchery.com.